We're going to be talking about all of that right now, Phil. Thanks for laying it out for us. Joining us now is the Trump campaign's national spokesperson, Katrina Pearson. Good morning, Katrina. Good morning, Allison. Okay, let's start with immigration. Let's try to nail down once and for all where Mr. Trump is on what would happen to the undocumented immigrants who are here. Because it sounded as if yesterday he was suggesting that he is open to amnesty for them. Is he open to a legal path to citizenship for those 11 million? Well, what Mr. Trump says is that when it comes down to the end of his 10-point plan, he'll make a further decision. Uh, but first, he wants to make a commitment to Americans to fulfill everything that previous administrations failed to do, uh -huh. which is to secure the border and control the flow of immigration. But Katrina, this is uh, different. When it comes I mean, down this is, I just, I'm sorry Mr. to interrupt Trump's you, but this is a big deal, is Katrina. No amnesty. The, the idea that he might be open to legal status it's actually also not. Is immigration is not showing to be a top priority for Americans in this election cycle. Yes, but he has made it a big deal of his campaign. And he had said that every single one of them had to leave. Now it sounds as if he's open to amnesty. No, Allison, his governing principle is that if you are in this country illegally, you need to leave and return legally. That's been his governing principle. He's laid out these, these primary initiatives, one through 10, they're on the website, so that he can let Americans know that his priorities are not to go after families. His priorities are to go after the criminal aliens yeah. after they build the wall, after they end catch and release, implement E-Verify, and essentially eliminate all of the magnets that draw illegals into okay. this country. But Katrina, that's uh, different. That is part, different than what you he get said through yesterday through 10, on the campaign, on his campaign, plane. plane. He, yesterday, but Allison, he said when that you he get is through open, 1 through 10. Yes. Katrina, hold on a second. When I, you get through 1 through 10, I want to play for you what he said so you can address it, okay? This is what he said, where he now sure. says that he sounds as though he is open to a legal, to, to making them uh, legal here, amnesty, in other words. Listen to this. For those here illegally today who are seeking legal status, they will have one route and one route only, to return home and apply for re-entry like everybody else. Can you rule out that one possibility in that determination? I'm is not a, ruling out anything. No, no. We're going to make that decision into the future. Okay? okay. Good question. I'm glad you asked it. Okay, so Katrina, for legal status, he had previously said one week ago, one route only. They must leave. Yesterday, he said, I'm not ruling anything out. He's open to the amnesty. Explain that. Well, again, he has said from the beginning of this campaign all the way back through the primary that he was going to be a negotiator in Congress. His governing policy has not changed. If you're in this country illegally, you should return to your home country and enter legally. He has put out a, a primary initiative uh, so that voters understand he's going to secure the border, yeah. build the wall, and get control of the tracking and issuances of visas. If you're Once in this we get country to that illegally, point, will he that make will get us down leave? to a reasonable number of illegals in this country. Mm -hmm. But we have to consider, Allison, after that, we are continuously hearing that there's not 11 million people. There could yes. be 20, there could be 30 I, we million people. I understand that it's complicated. So Mr. Trump there's wants to put together. complications. But it's hold on, understood. this is important. You asked me the question, let me answer Go ahead. It. This is important because Mr. Trump can't promise to deport every single illegal alien in the country if there's 30 million. Yes, there's not enough time okay, in his so presidency to do that, in other which words, is why he laid out his priorities. He's realized that his initial promises of every single one of them must leave, yes, there'll be a deportation force. He's realized, you're saying, that that is impractical and undoable. Well, if there's 30 million, he can't do them all in one presidential If there's 11 term. million, can so he? The, the idea that he's put forth the initiative to start with criminal aliens and, and put together uh, a force to identify those in the yes. country illegally. and those who are and, not and, and, and the Some of them aren't even going to leave. There are going to be people who hide out, Allison, and we have to come up with something at a later date to take care of that issue. Let's move on to the contribution of $25,000 that the Trump Foundation made to the Florida Attorney General, um, Pam Bondi, just at the same time that she was deciding whether or not to open an investigation into Trump University. Why did Mr. Trump make that contribution that the IRS considers illegal? Well, Mr. Trump donates to several politicians of the state of Florida. He has a home there, um, so I think that's obvious. Secondly, Mrs. Bondi said that she was not 
participating in any in, in investigation uh, with uh, Mr. Trump. She so decided that's not a little to. contradiction. And she decided once not that clerical to. error Afterwards. was found, it was taken care of. Yes, and uh, Mr. Trump had to pay a fine, 10 percent, to the IRS because it was like missed. millions of Americans do every day. Fair. It was misrepresented on the IRS forms and to the IRS. It, uh, the Trump organization said that it was a different uh, organization that they had made it to, not the Pam Bondi political group. Um, but I guess the question is, Katrina, how is this different than what Mr. Trump is accusing Hillary Clinton of with the Clinton Foundation? Well, first of all, there is no classified or confidential information that's being passed not around. Not the emails. I'm talking email about the payola. Could have been hacked the by not the not the more classified, different subject. There was no payola. sale of uranium that went to a hostile nation either. Uh, we could talk about the Clinton Foundation and the pay-to-play allegations. You can watch the movie called Clinton Cash and get up to date mm -hmm. on that. But this is not the same thing because this was a clerical error. It was identified and corrected. Millions of Americans have to deal with this every single year with the IRS. And it's completely different because here we are talking about Mr. Trump and a clerical error, but we're not talking about Hillary Clinton and a number of hostile foreign countries who suppress women, who suppress all kinds of people all so over the world. So no they effort. There was no effort to try to influence. Of dollars to the Clinton Foundation. So you're saying no effort. And no, not in a clerical error. Just a clerical er uh, error. No effort to try to influence the investigation. That's what, that's what you're maintaining, Katrina. I believe Katrina is giving me the silent treatment. No, just kidding. The satellite froze. Uh, we thank Katrina Pearson for being here. Let's get over to Chris. <laughs> you're lucky you didn't get a says who right there. <laughs>